Energy consumption is increasing year after year. We use electricity everywhere, and due to our northern location, we also consume plenty of energy for heating. At the same time, climate change caused by greenhouse gases is a threat that must be fought using all available means, especially through energy saving and the use of renewable energy. District heating, based on combined heat and power production, is by far the most efficient energy production method. Varosta uuneessa on kuuma. Miten uuni lämpenee? Sähköllä. Siellä on semmoiset jotkut vastuukset. Ai niin kuin patteri. Niin, kyllä. Tai ei kun... Nämä patterit lämpiää kaukolämmöllä, mutta jotkut patterit lämpiää sähköllä. Mitä on kaukolämpö? Öö, ka kaukolämpö on semmoinen ja sitten se, se ves vesi, semmoista on kaukolämpö. Joo. Onko sähkö vaarallista? Onko sähkö kuumaa? Mistä sähkö tulee? Tuleeko se kaupaa? Ei kun läheitä. Ihan kotikaupungista. Se näkyy parvekkeelta. Tehdään nämä pullat valmiiksi ja isä käy näyttämässä. Se on tuolla. Mä pitää vähän täällä. Tule tuolla, tuolla. Kato näin. Tuolla. Tuolla noin kolme piippua näkyy. Miten se sähkö tulee tänne? Öö, piuhoja pitki. Otetaan selvää. En minä tiedä. <laughs> Where does the electricity we use come from and how does our heating system work? Let's start from the beginning. Corpion Energy's biofuel power plant uses large amounts of local forest residuals instead of fossil fuels, thereby preventing climate change. Finland is committed to increasing the use of renewable energy to 38% by 2020. Increasing the use of wood as energy is the single most important mechanism for achieving this goal. Economically speaking, energy wood thinning makes forests more valuable as it increases the quality of saw timber trees. Wood thinning also improves the social dimension of forests in recreational use such as outdoor activities and mushrooming, and strives to guarantee forest biodiversity. Energy wood is chipped all year round. Transportation distances and machine transfers are minimized, and all necessary measures are taken to ensure efficient and climate-friendly production and reduce environmental impact. All biofuel used by Kopion Energy's power plant in Harpenimi comes from the surrounding area, meaning that transportation distances are short. A truckload of energy can heat three detached houses for a year and cover the annual electricity needs of 13 apartments. At the receiving station, forest residuals are unloaded into a pit from there, they continue their journey to the fuel silos through conveyors. On a winter day, over 100 trucks unload their cargo at the Harpenimi power plants. The residuals are fed to the furnace through feeding screws without any break in continuity. The dimensions of the power plant are tremendous. There are nine floors and many kilometers of pipes and nozzles. All devices have a carefully thought out purpose to optimize combustion and fuel efficiency. The boiler is 50 meters high. The fire in the boiler raises the temperature to extreme values and the water is vaporized in the steam generator pipes running through the furnace walls. Air is injected into the circulating fluidized bed boiler from the lower nozzles to make the sand bed at the bottom of the furnace bubble. Hot sand makes the combustion process more even. Next to the furnace is a cyclone where sand and non-combustible fuel are separated from the flue gas flow and returned to the furnace. Hot flue gases are conveyed to the flue gas duct, 
where they preheat feed water and combustion air. Superheaters are also situated in the flue gas duct, where the saturated steam is superheated to 535 degrees Celsius. The ash from the flue gases is almost completely removed using an electrostatic precipitator. The size of the precipitator rivals an apartment block. The whole process is monitored and managed from the control room. Fuels and waters from the boiler process and district heating network are analysed in our own laboratory. The superheated steam generated in the boiler is directed to the turbine, where its heat energy is converted into kinetic energy. The turbine makes the generator rotate and the kinetic energy is converted into electricity. The electrical energy produced by the generator is transferred to customers through the grid. The steam from the turbine condenses into water in the district heat exchangers. The released energy heats up the district heating water. In winter, the district heating pumps pump water at up to 120 degrees Celsius through the district heating network to customers. The condensed process water is then returned to the boiler, thus completing the internal cycle. This is how we convert the renewable resources of our forests into electricity and heat. Biopower benefits forests and each and every one of us by ensuring natural continuity and preventing climate change. In the end, it was just a matter of what kind of world we wanted to leave to our children. Isä, voiko sähkö loppua joskus?